Bridge Marchum, this is a quality drill for helping to improve your hip extension but also to improve single leg hip extension. One of the problems that I find with many of the sort of mobility and strength based moves is that they train both legs together. Now, although that's great for adding more power, adding more strength, being able to handle more load, it doesn't let you properly feel how each hip how each hamstring, how each glute sort of responds. Um, and more importantly, it lets us work and build on improving imbalances, which is one of the, the key points to the going for the single leg part of this drill. Now, uh, ideally, I would lie on a little mat, but this floor <laughs> is freezing. I'm gonna take my hands and bring them about 45 degrees out from the hips. This part is crucial as it brings the entire posterior chain into it and where it can lead into a great warm up drill for squat, for deadlift and the legs. So 45 degrees out from the hips. First thing we are going to do is create a big gap underneath the low back. All right, the reason we're, we're creating the gap there is because I want to get rid of the gap just before we go into the drill. A lot of people just in the experience of coaching have struggled to know where they are. So every time I come down, I go low back off the floor and then we roll low back goes on the floor, okay? So, hands driven down through the floor, create a big arch underneath the low back. Initially, we can start this with the feet flat, but to really target the glutes and the hamstrings, I prefer the heels. From here, big gap, low back, touches the floor, and then one vertebrae at a time, think about squeezing your abs, your abs are pulling your hips off the floor, one vertebrae at a time, pushing the heels into the floor, driving the hands into the floor. Keep going until we're about neutral here. We don't want to go on past and end up, you know, extending our flow spine and using our low back to help us. We want a nice flat here. So abs are on, glutes are on, and you see how that nice line runs all the way through. And then slowly back down before untucking, re-tucking, and then one vertebrae at a time, slowly rolling, rolling, using the glutes, the heels, the hamstrings, and more importantly, the abs. And back down nice and slow. You can maintain the double leg work, um, unilateral work, until you feel like you've understood the move. Then we can go single leg, which is where I would like to go after, and where I go with every clamp. Low back to the floor, drive the hands down through the ground, one vertebrae at a time, slowly rolling, rolling, rolling. Now that's where we're gonna start the marching. Drive the hands through the floor, put one knee to the chest, Two breaths, change leg, stabilize, and back down. Untuck, retuck, roll, roll, roll. Start with the weaker leg first on the floor, march, change side, stabilize, and slowly back down. What we don't want is when we're going off balance is this, the hips dropping. So keep pushed up, keep your pelvis square, and everything is level. We don't want the hips dropping, shifting left to right. That is our glute bridge marching. And tag me, comment me if you need any help. Thank you.